Hey, what's up guys? This is Dave from NetCodeSource.com and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to aim better. But it's not that simple. There's a lot that goes into it. So the first thing we're going to discuss, the very, very, very first thing is your sensitivity. So if you're one of those guys and you just go into Counter-Strike Go and you don't even know that there's a sensitivity command like that, or, or you just go into like the help and options and you go into the uh, keyboard and mouse and you just jack this mouse setting slider up, you're probably not going to be very good at aiming. If you have mouse acceleration on, probably not going to be that good at aiming. And if you have raw and put off, generally speaking, not going to be that good. There are exceptions, of course. There's exceptions to everything. All right. So before we even discuss things like that, let's discuss what you want to have right now. Right now, you want to know what type of sensitivity you have, all right? When you type in sensitivity in console, you want to know what type of DPI your mouse has, okay? I use a death adder. It's actually at 400 DPI right now. Um, so I use 2.025 sensitivity, and I use six out of 11 windows with ROM put on and no mouse acceleration, all right? That's gonna give me a low sensitivity. One of the reasons I have a low sensitivity, I'm an opper, I op all the time, and it gives me more control over my op, okay? Now the next thing we're gonna discuss is the ratios of that, all right? So the first thing you wanna do is go to your control panel and your mouse properties and just make sure the, the, the sensitivity bar is just in the middle. Put it at six out of 11, it's easy, it's simple, and then anytime you go to someone else's computer, um, you know, you always know what it is. That's default. It's default six out of 11. Simplest thing to do, all right? The next thing I want you guys to do is find out what type of DPI your mouse is, all right? Um, whether it's 400 DPI, 800 DPI, whatever, all right? Then you're gonna try to find a good ratio between the DPI of your mouse and the sensitivity command, all right? Now, I use a pretty low sensitivity. I basically use 800 true cents. If you use six out of 11 um, in your windows, just to make it real simple on you guys, this actually isn't 100% exact, but it's close enough. If you just multiply your sensitivity by your DPI, for instance, my base sensitivity is basically two, and if I multiply that by my T DPI, which is 400, it would be two times 400 equals 800. My true sensitivity would be about 800. You don't necessarily want to go too much below that, um, but you don't want to go too much higher than that either. I have a pretty low sensitivity. My sensitivity is 800 true cents. All right, I wouldn't go too much below that. I pretty much use like the lowest out of, out of most, you know, pro players. Um, if you want to go higher than that, you know, feel free. That's that's very good to do, especially if you're a rifler. I would I would actually recommend having a higher sensitivity, but. If you go for a true sensitivity, I wouldn't try going over like my absolute peak, you know, and there are always going to be exceptions. My absolute peak wouldn't be over like 13 to 1400 true sensitivity. So if you use 400 DPI, for instance, I wouldn't really go too much higher than like a 3.2 cents or something like that. Like I wouldn't go too much higher. Maybe 3.5 would be like the absolute most on 400 DPI. Um, so that's just going to give your sensitivity a manageable sensitivity that you could work on, you could deathmatch with, you could you could you could build up that muscle memory over time, right? You want your sensitivity to be manageable. Again, if you just go into here real quick, again, if you go into here and you just jack this mouse sensitivity up and that's how you identify, you know, your mouse speed, you're probably not going to be that good at aiming. You want that shit to be precise and you want it to constantly be building on your memory, muscle memory, so you need it to be a constant all right, you need it to be always the same. That's why I take mouse acceleration off. That's why I have raw input on. All right. Next thing I want to discuss is peripherals. All right. If you're using like a ball mouse or something like that, all right, you're not going to be good at aiming. And most likely, if you're using some really, really small mouse pad that you got to like Best Buy for like, that came with your computer and you like bought your computer at Best Buy or something like that, and it has like dogs on it or kittens on it or whatever, you're probably not going to be that good at aiming. All right, get yourself a good mouse pad, get yourself a good mouse, get yourself like, I mean, I've used a death adder forever, so I'm obviously going to recommend that. And for a mouse pad, I use a, a Razer Goliathus, either speed or control. The reason I do that is because I want a big mouse pad. I have a very low sensitivity. My mouse pad is like, I don't know, maybe 15 inches long and like 
I don't know, about a, about a foot high, you know, so it, it's really big. I, I never, you know, track my mouse off my mouse pad and it works really well together. All right, guys, the next thing that comes after that, after getting your sensitivity into a manageable spot, is learning how to practice aiming. All right. So when you want to practice aiming, the best advice I can give is to just play a lot, all right? A ton. Just play a lot of Counter-Strike, all right? Deathmatch a lot, aim map, things like that help tremendously, all right? Scrimming is pretty much the only time you're going to be able to have crosser placement and things like that come into play, so scrimming is huge as well. The next thing that I want to discuss that probably isn't so when you when you want to practice your aim like if you're an opera thing to do is to do something like this for instance if I want to practice offing a car or rail right I'll be in the server I'll have like three teammates in here and I'll just tell them to, to rush me just just try to make it as realistic as possible it's basically dry running around right it's like practicing um, like in, in basketball, you scrimmage, you, you go through plays and stuff like that, and then you go through it in real time. This is more like going through it in real time. So what you're going to do is you're going to find a good spot that you're going to post at, and you're going to have your teammates rush you, and they're going to rush you there, and you're going to shoot, and then there, and then you're going to like crouch here, and then off another one, for instance. And that's going to help you a lot. When I was first learning how to aim and things like that, I would do this all the time. i just message my teammates and friends and be like, dude, just fight me on the server for a while. And that's what you have to say. You have to tell them to fight you. Like you're physically fighting them, all right? Because that's just how I do it, and I think it's hilarious. Okay, so I would do that at car as well on, on Dust 2, and I would just tell my teammates, just rush me. And I would go kill one here, and then I'd fall back, and I'd wait, and then I'd kill one here, and then I'd fall back, and I'd wait, and I'd kill another here. And I would just do that for like an hour, just like straight. And it was like, if you scrim, you might get the chance to do that, five rounds and like three scrims or something like that but if you practice it like that you're going to get the chance so many times and it's just going to really build up your muscle memory and you're also going to get really comfortable at the spot that you play at so that's one thing that's going to really help that people don't really do that often um, another thing that will help you out is of course death matching but death matching properly try to just take your time aim don't try to just flick to heads as fast as possible Try to take your time and aim, and aim properly. I'll do a more in-depth video of that later, but for now, um, I'm just kind of giving the, the brief overview of it. Next thing is brushing. Brushing is going to help tremendously with crosshair placement and timings. Again, it's basically like a dry run. It's just like this, where I'm opping rail and I tell three of my teammates to rush me. Brushing is so similar to that, except you're doing that at such a constant pace, and it's really going to help with the timings. The timings in this game are huge. If if you know how fast an op peaks you and shoots, you could basically pre-fire an op if you know the right timing for it. So brush, definitely. We're, we're working on the brush servers, guys. Don't worry. Um, they'll be here soon. Brush is a huge help when learning how to aim. Of course, we already got the DM server up, so, you know, play on that. Next thing is scrimming. All right, scrim a lot. Scrimming is going to help you dodge flashes and things like that, which is just a part of aiming. You know, um, if if you can't dodge flashes and you don't have the right positioning, and you don't, you know, know how to dodge flashes, it doesn't matter how good you are at aiming. So you got to be able to put yourself in situations where you can out aim the person by using nades properly. I mean, to do that, you know, look at our guides on the premium section at NecroIlluminati.com. Uh, watch demos of good players like the best players don't really watch bad players play that's because that's just only going to give you bad habits and then try to just mimic what they do it's really as simple as that. so the next thing I'm going to discuss is right now real recoil control okay so recoil in control in this game is a little bit different than in source 1.6 you definitely can't burst as many bullets and you can't spray as well in this game so it gets a little bit different you want to always be just shooting like a good four to five bullets all right so before we talk about that let's talk about very very simply the first thing you want to do before you shoot is tap the opposite direction of where you're moving and then burst down if you're in like a mid-range battle if you're super close range like someone's coming out of the tunnel and you're here you could just freaking try to wail on the guy it doesn't really matter about stopping that much because 
one of you is probably going to instantly headshot the other if if you're you know both pretty good players okay but generally speaking any type of mid-range battle or long range battle you want to stop before you're shooting if i'm just full moving look at my bullets they literally have what what is this this is where they can go in a huge circle like that we don't want that we want the bullets to be tight compact tight knit and we want to be able to control where they go so how we do that is by shooting short four to five maybe six bullet bursts like that and pulling your crosshair down accordingly uh, you see I have the SV show impacts command on right now so you could actually see where my bullets are going 100 percent and as you can see they're going pretty much in the same spot until I get to like that tenth bullet or so alright so try to stop before you shoot try to control your recoil and try to get that tight knit you know circle that if you just shoot four or five bullets like that, that was like eight bullets. They all went pretty much the same spot. You're going to kill the guy pretty much instantly every single time. And if you have good crosshair placement, then you're pretty much going to get most of the kills. All right. Um, and when your fire fights. So next, that brings me to my next point is crosshair placement. Okay. So catwalk is like a perfect example of how to properly you know, use your crosshair placement. So, say I'm walking up catwalk, right? I'm holding this angle, okay? Or like I'm, say I'm like holding like this and I'm walking up, right? Now, whenever you feel like a guy could ever peek you, you want your crosshair to be, you want to know your reactions so that when the guy peeks you, he's going to run into your head, run into your crosshair and you're going to headshot him. So, you probably don't want to be aiming like this because then when he runs out, you're going to have to flick to him. Right? So you don't want to be aiming too close to this wall right here. Because then you're gonna to have to flick when he runs out to try to headshot him, right? I'd like what I do is I aim where I feel his head's gonna go. So you'll see me aiming basically a body model apart. Because that's how my reactions are. If if he runs out, I feel like his aim, his head's gonna be around here, and then I'm gonna be able to headshot him. So that's where I try to aim. Okay? So then we get to the next thing is pre-aiming corner. So right when I get to here. Generally speaking, if someone's peeking, they're going to be peeking around here. So instead of peeking like that, I'm going to go like this, and then I'm going to come out, and I'm going to strafe out and shoot like that. I'm not going to, I'm not going to peek it like that. I'm going to come here, and I'm going to pre the corner and the name like that. Same thing with here. I'm going to go like this, and then I'm going to go like that a lot of the time. Or, you know, that situation, you can go more like that. Um, so... Then if I want to clear like the stairs on catwalk, I'm going to go to here and then I'm going to pre-aim it and I'm going to aim like this. I'm not going to go like this because that's going to be a lot slower. I'm going to come here and I'm just going to dart out. Same thing with the bricks. Okay, so I'll give you another example. If I'm B tunnels and I'm going B, right, and I throw a smoke over here and I I know the guy's close, right, but I want to rush him, so I throw like a flashbang, right. Now, this flashbang probably isn't going to blind him too bad. He's going to turn from it. He's not a noob, right? So when I'm running out, I'm keeping my crosshair like this because I know at any point, in, at any millisecond, this guy's going to run out and start pre-firing me because I know he's close. I know he's right here, right? So I'm keeping my crosshair like this. I'm not keeping it like this. I'm keeping it like this, and I am just super focused and intense and just waiting for him to run out, and then I'm just going to instantly headshot the guy. That's how you have to be. When you play, in this, play this game against good people, you have to anticipate everything. All right? You constantly have to anticipate people coming out. And when you anticipate it and when you envision it, you're get your, your aim and your reactions are going to be a lot better and you're going to get a lot more frags. Simple as that. All right, guys. I think that's about it for the how to aim video. If you guys have any more suggestions uh, on th things you want to see, if you don't feel I went into detail enough, simply post a comment I'll try to get to it and I'll be doing a couple more in-depth guides of, of how to brush properly how to deathmatch properly and things like that so stay tuned to the YouTube channel for more all right guys this has been days and source.com peace out I hope you enjoyed watching I hope I helped you just a little bit and how to aim better